Hey guys, Dirtbag Gaming here, the channel for Casual Raiders. Thank you for clicking on this video. We're going to be going over another how to gear a specific champion, which is going to be Grizzle Gerald today. I just made a video on him, uh, kind of crushing the clan balls. He should be a legendary. Uh, he shouldn't be like he just he's as good as a legendary. So we're going to go over kind of what we're looking for specifically, his skills, and what kind of gear we're going to look him to do, and where we're going to put him in the game. So for my Grizzle, I use him specifically for the clan boss. Uh, he's very, very good for the green clan boss. He could be good for really any clan bosses, but his his skills specifically require him to be tanky. Uh, and there's two places to put him. You can he either make him with a ton of um, a ton of uh, accuracy to make sure that his skills hit, which is this one, uh, the heal reduction, or this main one, which is the decrease attack. So if you want him for your decrease attack champion for your clan boss, you need to book him all the way out, which is kind of tough. Uh, and he only goes down to a, a four turn cooldown, so that's why if you're going to use it for the clan boss, I would rather get somebody else who has a decrease attack on their A1 rather than him being reliable for the decrease attack. So my Grizzle has no accuracy whatsoever. I mean, he has it, but not looking for it. So again, if you're going to use him for the clan boss, this is a perfect guy to kind of use him for because with the clan boss, when you're starting out, you're mainly going to look for lifesteal to kind of make your guys last a little bit longer. So for this guy, you're going to be going with lifesteal. So, again, looking at his skills, we already determined that we don't need accuracy because we've been using him for the clan boss. I want to get this down to a three-turn cooldown for the clan boss specifically, so I need to at least get these two books up so I can use him for the clan boss. Uh, his A1, heal reduction, don't care. Uh, this one, I do care, so I need a three-turn cooldown, and this one, I don't care it's for, unless we're using him for the faction wars. So, his artifacts, uh, again, I'm looking for defense. I'm looking for specific speed. If you're only using him for the clan boss, the speed isn't going to be that crazy to get because you want him to go either before or after your um, counterattack champion. So for him, I want him to go either before or after. Depending on your team, I'm having him go before my, my uh, counterattack team. So I need to make sure he's over 192 speed. So for his speed, he's at 194, which is perfect. If you're at one more speed and you don't have any like increased uh, speed buffs or increased turn meter, he's always going to go before your, your other guy. So if he's at 193, perfect. So for him to do that, I always start with uh, the boots. So I want to make sure I have 40% boots or 40% speed boots. Uh, so that way I know how much speed we need to add to it. Um, the next thing that we're going to go is the uh, chest piece. So for the chest piece, I definitely know I'm going to go for the defense. Like almost always, it's either going to be a percentage stat uh, but specifically for what they need. So for him, it's going to be a defense uh, stat. So I wanted him to hit hard. Now this guy, there's two options. You can either go uh, crit rate or uh, defense. Now for me, he's already got a crap ton of defense. Uh, like for him with the cr uh, crit rate gloves, he's already at 4,690 defense. He's got very good multipliers. So you can go crit rate to, for him to hit harder on the gloves. It's very hard to do crit damage on the gloves because then you have to do crit rate on everything else, which you know it's kind of hard to get. So if you start with the gloves and you go crit rate, the other stats aren't as reliant on crit rate as you're looking for. So you don't need like 20% crit on one, on one chest piece. You could go for like 5% crit or maybe 10% crit. So guys, instead of starting with the chest piece, start with gloves. Depend, uh, decide if you're going to go crit rate or defense. If you don't care about how much damage he does, go defense. Uh, but if you care that you want him to do some damage with, if you're middle or end game, trust me, go with crit rate. So I put him with crit rate, and I got him actually an extra 13 uh, defense. Again, you're not looking for accuracy, so if you have accuracy, it's okay. I got that for the last roll. Uh, this one, though, you definitely want defense. I got resistance, so this would be good for like one of my resistance teams. But he doesn't really need the resistance. So if this had like uh, more HP, that'd be perfect. Um, more crit damage, crit rate, that'd be great. But I didn't get that roll. Uh, and obviously speed boots. So, but look at that roll. I got 18 defense on this. This is a perfect uh, boot for him. For these three, you're not as, as specific. You're kind of just getting the stats you need. So for this, you can never go defense on the weapons. So speed, crit rate, HP, perfect for him. For a six-star helmet, we got crit damage, which is cool. This up is crit damage. We got speed and crit rate. And then for the uh, 
shield, this deck, this can go defense. We've got defense percentage, more crit rate, uh, crit damage, and speed. So guys, specifically, make sure that you're getting what you need. You want to make sure that you're getting the speed. So I got him over 192. Uh, the crit rate, let's say before I added uh, the shield, before I added this 15 crit rate, I was at like 90% crit rate right before I added it. Well, now I'm over. So I, if I had another shield that had more defense, speed, and crit damage, I would add that instead of this one because this is giving more, more crit rate than I need. For these ones down here, it's completely up to you. I wanted, again, what you don't... Crit damage is kind of worthless unless you get the crit rate up. So if you're not near 100% crit rate, don't go for the crit damage, go for defense. I'm only going for crit damage because I had 100% crit rate. And these are pretty bad rolls. Like I had, that was a good roll, but I had three accuracy, which again, he doesn't need accuracy. So if you get defense or HP, that's more what you're looking for for this one. But I went again, crit damage because I got the crit rate. This one always defense, uh, almost always. Look at that roll. Like this is um, probably one of the best rolls I had on this uh, dwarf ring. So I was like, that is definitely going on my uh, my defense dwarf. And this one, I wanted to go defense is over accuracy because again, you don't need accuracy. You can go HP for this one, but I would suggest defense because then he's going to hit a lot harder and he's going to survive a little bit longer because look how much health. He only has an extra 16,000 health and he's one of my last to survive in my clan boss. So we got defense, defense, if you're not going for crit rate, go defense. If you're not going for crit rate, go defense. He'll probably be over 5,000 defense if you do those three things. But look how much speed I got on this. On this. So the order you want to go when you're gearing your champions, I almost always go uh, deciding which way I'm going to go. So I went crit rate here. So I went there first. And then seeing how much speed I can get on my back. Because the speed uh, on the on these three, you can only get speed on the banner. So get your your best speed defense banner you can, and that way I have an extra twenty one speed right here. So it's twenty one speed I don't have to worry about in my artifacts. Because again, you only want to be one above or two above your slowest guy. All right. So one here, two here, right, and then the three here for your chest. And then uh, this you already know it's always going to be 40 speed. So you don't have to do that right away. You kind of just add 40 speed to your, your guy. And then you know, all right, I need more speed or I don't need more speed. And then these three are determined on what you need more. Whether you need more speed, you need more crit, or you need more um, HP or defense, these three are going to be your last to put on. Just because they're the easiest to get. Because these, these are specific. You need specific defense, specific crit, specific speed. These three don't really change. They're just all about the substats. And then these last two are just bonuses. Like this is a bonus if you need more defense or if you want more crit damage. And this is just, this is probably the last piece I put on is the ring. Because <laughs> you have so many of them. So it's like, all right, the last thing I need, do I want more defense or do I want more HP? Which one? So I chose defense. So this is like the last piece I put on. And then finally, Every time you put on a piece, you just check it. Just check to see if you're, if you're going the right path. Masteries are only going to help out with uh, the crit rate, crit damage, and that's really it. So these two, you definitely want to get. Like this, you're always going to get, so make sure you put that on first. Like even if, if you have to do one Minotaur run, just to make sure that you know you have five extra crit, because that's kind of what happened with me, was I had over six crit rate because I didn't do the mastery first. I was like, crap, I forgot about the freaking mastery. So I can change one of these uh, artifacts to get less crit. Like this one. I can get uh, another artifact that maybe, but this is such a good artifact. I get maybe uh, more HP or more crit damage on this one rather than the crit rate. So ju just an option, but make sure you don't forget about the mastery because that's more crit rate right there. Um, and that's really it. So with Grizzle, you're looking for defense. If you want him to hit hard, crit rate and crit damage, uh, but mainly you're looking for if he has enough speed and, and defense. That, that's great for him because you don't need the accuracy. So these are the stats for him. You saw my last video. He hits really freaking hard. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. But also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because all these videos that I got going up, they're strictly just for you. Um, I'm only doing this channel because I, 
want to make videos and just kind of put them out there like instead of just sitting here playing this game all day i was like hey might as well just do what i'm doing every single day and just record myself doing it so guys let me know what you think about the video um if there's any other champions you want to see geared because i'm going to do this guy next basilis Rose, one of my favorite guys uh but guys appreciate the time thanks for clicking on the video enjoy the rest of your week and good luck